Hello everybody. This is going to be a little bit different of a video from me. Um, it's going to be like the first time I've done a non-gaming video or giveaway video. They're the only ones that I've done just talking head to camera in the past. But this one is more on streaming and I've been in the, gotcha. I've been streaming now for a couple of months and I've been in the background <laughs> as the tech guy for a couple of streamers and this is a time I've, I've only recently come towards the camera and started streaming. I've been doing YouTube videos for years, so <laughs> I'm not shy in front of a camera, but I haven't been streaming in the, before the last couple of months. So this is mainly a video on what I've learned and what kind of works and what doesn't and common misconceptions to do with how to start out really. So if you want to see more, uh, Twitch link is down in the description. It should pop up about here. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, let let's get into it then, shall we? I'm just gonna put it out there. Um, take this with a grain of salt. Do more research than just this video. This isn't the be all and end all. Um, just make sure to do your research. And yeah, let's continue with the video. So this video is meant out if you are just starting and like the the main thing to think about with say gear and levels of like audio and lighting and that kind of thing so let's start off with one of the main the main important things no it's not your webcam or stream quality it's your microphone if your microphone isn't clear people won't watch most of the time the main reason why people click off of videos is because they can't understand you slightly blurry image that's fine slightly crackly microphone or one which is too quiet or one that it just sounds like a toaster they're more likely to move on to somebody else because when something hurts your like slight annoying in the ears it's more harsh than if something is slightly more annoying on screen <laughs> so if you were to for example hear an annoying noise in the background that would annoy you more than say a, an, an annoying pop-up on your screen or well, to me it does anyway i imagine it's the same with the same with you if you have an annoying sound it's more likely that you'd get annoyed and try and get out of or turn off whatever it is that's doing it than if there was like say on your screen a little pop-up in the corner if you had both of them you try and go for the sound first because sound is really really important on that same line you don't need an expensive mic like you can get away with cheaper microphones but have them set up correctly or you go for a mid-range usb microphone so it has some built-in sound isolation get a pop filter so all the harsh p's and aren't really just deafening people put maybe a little bit of eq on and you're sorted when you're thinking of upgrading if you have like a 50 pound usb microphone and you upgrade it to a 100 pound microphone that step up is huge when you go up to 150 pounds it's less of a step up but it's still a good improvement you go beyond that it will sound better if you're just recording in a studio yes but when you're streaming your audio is compressed and because it's compressed a 2000 pound microphone sounds the same as a 150 pound microphone <laughs> If you're streaming, you do not need the best microphone. You just need it to sound clear. Like right now, I'm using a Blue Ember. <laughs> it's £100. Uh, for this one, it's not a USB microphone. So it has a audio interface. Which USB microphones have the audio, in, uh, the compression, the converters, the microphone all in one. So if you if this microphone is £100, but compared to a £150 USB microphone, it will sound, this one will sound better. Because you're not just paying for a microphone when you get a USB microphone, you're paying for everything in one go. Which means that, that that's, that's a different video. <laughs> Comparing the ver different microphones you can get is a different video. Just don't go and buy the most expensive microphone out there because you will not see a quality increase. On the same kind of plane, levels. You don't have to have a really 
really loud microphone if you have the gameplay at the right level beneath it. You can have a really quiet stream, but have the levels correct and it will be better than someone having a really loud microphone with a really loud stream and hardly any gameplay sound. If you get the levels correct, then it's up to the user to what level they want to hear, or to what volume they want to hear. If you get the levels correct, the person at the other end of a stream can just turn you up and then they'll be perfect for them. They can't turn your microphone down and turn your gameplay up. You have the, if you get the levels correct, then it's up to the person at the other end to go, okay, maybe I turn my, head, my headphones up. Or maybe I'm too loud, but the level, but everything's too loud. Okay, I'll turn my headphones down. If you don't get the levels right, you don't give them the option. <laughs> like majoritively, most people, if you load up a YouTube video and then you load up a Twitch stream, the YouTube video will be louder than the Twitch stream. Because everyone on Twitch usually has their volume down further so that you get the levels right. Because they can't go in post and go, actually, maybe I'll put the music up a bit. I'll, when, I put, when I put my music in, I'm going to put it up a little bit louder. They can't do that when they're streaming. So they usually have everything down slower, but at a more, at a better level compared to each other. And also a bad experience is when you can just hear the gameplay sounds deafening you, but you can't hear the person. When you have the, when you have the gameplay louder than the person, that's when you go, okay, I'm moving stream. I can't, I'm not dealing with this. So I'm going to go elsewhere. So we've talked about microphones and levels. The next thing, camera. Camera is the same as microphone. If you go too expensive with the, with the, with the webcam or camera, like either you, get, either you buy a webcam or a DSLR or a mirrorless camera and you plug it in via a capture card, if you get too expensive, again, you get diminishing returns as you go more, more, if you spend more money, because in the end, you're going to take your full camera and shrink it down and put it in the corner. Say you're streaming at full res, so 1080p, even half the, even like a quarter of the size will be hardly anything. <laughs> and put it down right here. You could be streaming with less than a 720p camera and you'll be fine. Now, what I'm about to say will be quite... Yeah, you either agree with it or you don't. You should aim to get a webcam if you want to stream. Uh, yes, there are big streamers that don't have webcams, but they are the exception to the rule. Big streamers are always the exception to the rule. If you ignore the big streamers, the majority of people that don't have a webcam are right down the other end. If you want to get views, it's best to get a webcam. A lot, even a, even a rubbish webcam can go a long way. Like if you get the correct lights for it, a webcam can be, if you, yeah. With the correct lighting, you can remove a lot of the problems with a lot of cheap webcams. A lot of big streamers that don't have webcams started at the beginning of Twitch. They started when the pool of streamers was smaller. So there were less streamers around. That meant that like way back at the beginning of YouTube, there were less channels. So it was, so the, the quality was not expected to be as high as current day YouTube. <laughs> viewers were easier to get and then they got big. And then cause they have viewers, people watch them but to start out now back then you could just go to an xbox start streaming from straight from the xbox and get viewers today the threshold has changed today you need a lot to get viewers like today viewers have become to expect a lot more from streamers as in their overlays and their webcams and unless you're already big people won't be viewing you you can stream about webcam for a hobby as in you will not be one you'll not be expecting to get loads of views if you want more views you can get a webcam <laughs> i know that's gonna yes 
you can go down to the comments and say what you like. I will read it. Um, if I will, I always read and look at other people's point of views. But what I've I've read up a lot about this before. It's best to have a webcam. <laughs> when you look at the Twitch stats, you will see there is people that have a webcam that are big. Everybody else, people don't have a webcam. That's that's ranked by viewers. That is what you will see. You can start out without a webcam, get more confident with your voice, start speaking better. Also, another, another thing with webcams, if you have a DSLR or mirrorless camera, yes, get a stream link, um, a cam link, I mean, or another capture card and use it. If you have it, use it. If not, I know it's a bad thing to say now when webcams are in high demand <laughs> but you don't need a big cam a big massive camera or anything that costs loads of money to start streaming because same with the microphone in the end it's going to get compressed in the end the canvas that you're going to be recording or putting your camera onto is going to be 1080p 60 top some people stream still at 720 because a lot of people don't get a quality slider a lot of people can't watch 1080p 60 content on their phones or on a on a crappy laptop or to keep the options open a lot of people just stream at 720p 60 and at that point a webcam even if it's an eighth of your screen it, it can be a toaster and it will still look crisp <laughs> also if you are having problems with the quality of your webcam if you up the bitrate a little bit that you're streaming at, it can really make a difference. One of the people that I, I um, mod for and actually live with, she upped her bitrate slightly and then suddenly her webcam looked much clearer because there's not that much compression happening to it. And to go hand to hand in with the camera lighting, I've got a light above my camera, I've got lights behind me. I haven't got what I'd like to have. I, would I wouldn't mind a key light behind me shining and then there's more separation between me and the background um the light i've got above the camera is about what was it about 15 pounds for a little video camera light um i've got a floodlight down there which is an outdoor floodlight that again cost me 15 to 20 pounds it's rgb i can change it on a whim to any color i like let's keep it back to blue um that little LED strip up there, again, about £10. So my lighting, less than £50. But again, that's three different lights, all doing three different purposes. That's making the background more exciting, kind of. Uh, the floodlight just filling out the rest of the room. <laughs> and the light above there, keeping my face um, well lit. And yeah. Also, one thing that lighting can do is make your camera work easier so work not as hard so if your room is dark your camera is going to be trying to bump up the iso to try and see your face if it's well lit your camera's doing less work <laughs> which and also dark scenes bumped up the iso make your webcam look grainy you do not want you to be like it's a like it, you're watching like um a scary movie when they're going through like a dark room you don't want that you want people to see you clearly even have a good exciting background something that's not just a plain wall in the end content is king that is my, my final point is that content is king but if you have loads of stats up one side and um like random pop-ups or anything up the other side and they can't see the gameplay or what, what you're doing so you could be a you could be an art streamer, you could be or a, a um, creative streamer. If they can't see what you're doing, whether it's gameplay, art, some kind of crafts, that kind of thing, if that is being overcrowded by all of your overlays, then they're just staying for you. And if you aren't entertaining enough to keep this, to chat and keep someone going and ignore the content, the content will help you a lot. If the content isn't visible, then it's a lot harder to keep a viewer also where you put your webcam is important like i put my webcam in the bottom 
right. Because think of the layout of Twitch. You have your canvas. I'm going to try and do as mirrored for you. <laughs> and then you have chat. People will be looking at your content and look, then looking at Twitch chat. So if they have to look at your content and look at your face on the right hand side, and then look back to Twitch chat, it's just more exhausting on their eyes. And then whereabouts is your head in the frame? Your head is on the top half of the frame. And also chat box is down the bottom. So if you put your camera at the top right, then they have to take all the way to the top of the top of the frame and then load down to look at Twitch chat. If you put your camera at the bottom right, your head's at the top part of the camera, you then your eyes will look from the, the gameplay to here to hit. It's much easier for people to look at if you put your webcam at the bottom right. Yes, you can do a lot more things with your webcam. So you have different scenes where, oh, we're loading into a level or we just, we've just finished a game of Call of Duty and you uh, load, you're at the, at the mission loading screen or something like that. You're in a, in a lobby. You can make your footage small and then put your camera up top. You can swap it around. But when you're in a game, it's a lot, lot easier to look at if you're in the bottom right. That's just more of a design thing, but it's up to you. If you don't think it's like, or it depends on what game you're playing. It's down to the game partially. The bottom right is usually where ammo, your gun that you have, that kind of that kind of stuff is located. So maybe put your webcam above that. Do it like that. Why not? If your game has nothing, if it has a load of like stats in the bottom right, but then nothing at the top right, put it up the top right. It doesn't have to be consistent on every single one of your streams. Don't lock into a certain place and then just leave it there. You can move it around. You can do whatever you like, but think of what's easier on the eyes. A thing that you need to start doing also when you start streaming is think out loud because same as with, same with recording YouTube. If you aren't speaking, someone just joins your stream and you're just sat there playing a game like a forehead cam, concentrating, not saying anything, would you watch that? Or would you, even if there's no one watching and the person is say, going through what they're doing, like saying what they're going to do next, um, reacting to what they just had happened to them. If someone is doing that and then they join, they're more likely to stay along because just think of it from the other side. If you come and join a stream and they're not saying anything and they're not being entertaining, why would you stay? If you join, and even if it says one viewer, that's you. You are that one viewer. And they are going through what they're doing. They're saying what, ha what they're thinking of what's going to happen next. And or they're reacting to a, a death that's just happened. That is much more entertaining to walk in on than nothing. <laughs> then them just sit there playing the game. There's You have to be engaging and talking through the game to get people to stay. I will probably be doing more of these in the future. So let me know what you want to see down below. So a uh, more in-depth conversation about my microphone and how I use it and my history of going from a Yeti when I was doing my like, old YouTube videos. If you want to know more about my camera that I'm using, my streaming computer, but yes, you need a computer to stream. That is a big, do you do a one streaming computer and one gaming computer? Are you going and using an Xbox? Like I've got an Xbox and a Switch here that go into a capture card. Are you doing it that way? There's a lot more we can go into. Just put what you want to hear down below. I've even written my own Twitch bot as well and stuff like that. Other stuff to do with the tech behind streaming and that kind of thing. If you want to see anything to do with that, tell me what you want to see. Or what music I use on stream because of the whole DMCA takedown. Just let me know what you want to see because I I'm open to doing videos on these kinds of things. Just just let me know. And if you're new here and you haven't seen me before, um, go check out my Twitch. That's why I'll be doing most of my content right now. I've I've cut back my YouTube to just doing Tavern Brawl videos once a week at the moment. But I'm gonna be doing more of like these kind of videos. But yeah, I will see you next time.
goodbye.